Mm, mm, mm. No one can deny the fact that they love cereal. No one hurts. You're always left with a box. So why don't you turn it into something useful? Like a distortion for a guitar. <laughs> maybe a synth. <laughs> maybe a drum machine. <laughs> for some reason this is picking up a radio station. You got some! The great thing about this is you don't need a soldering iron. So this thing involves this stuff, which is called electric paint. This one's by Bear Conductive. You paint it and it makes a circuit. You can make it into anything really, but let's just say we've got some lovely frail frosties. I don't know whether you can say brands on these things. I think he said that they're absolutely amazing or something like that. They're kind of okay. Anyway, a transistor, a resistor, a capacitor, another capacitor, this is a diode, jack sockets, so that's where you plug in your wires, something to plug your battery into, and a couple of bits of wire. And snip, snip, snip. <laughs> you start by poking four holes. Like, one, two, three, four. And we take this away, done. Little smiley face. Ooh, no. I like distortion. Oh, I can't be bothered to write. This little transistor. So you find the flat side, and then you get this middle one, and you pull it over the flat face. See that? Goes like that. You've got to get a bit of super glue. This bit on the front. Boop. Stick it, and have him sticking up like that. He's looking all happy. You take this, this is called the electrolytic capacitor, and super glue it, positive side, kind of touch in. And then you get this guy, you snip his legs. Ah, don't hurt me! You see there's a little black line on, on one side. Make sure the black line is pointing towards this bit. Now you get this guy. Ah! Doesn't matter which way around this one goes. Like that. Split his legs open. So you got him going down there. See these legs? Bend them forwards a bit. So they look like that. You're poking through the top hole. And you pop them back on this side. Make sure he's nice and tight. These guys do the same into these two holes. Oh, uh, poor old Tony Tiger's got a, a jack socket going straight through his, his cheek. Out. In. Mr. Battery Clip. Mm. Take this down over the hole. You need to work out where the tip of the jack socket, find the bit that it's connected to. Twist a bit of wire around that, like so. Do the same with this. Like so. Tape it down there, one there. Kind of looks like an angry guy. Mm. Get your electric paint. Literally, you just blob it all together. Get a nice big old blob on that. Same with this bit as well. Make sure all of the bit, bits are connected. This wire that's coming from the in jack, got to just kind of paint in. It's going to go over to this bit of this capacitor, this leg. This side of the potential man. Kind of get him over and blob him on the capacitor. The middle one, you wire that over to the out. Red side of this 9 volt battery one on this resistor over here. And you just got to paint your line, and there we go. Get a big old blob on this bit where you've attached your wires to your jack socket. Now, what you've got to do is you've got to connect all your grounds. Get your black bit of wire up to this, which is the ground part of the jack on here. I paint down the jack. So you get a big old blob. You paint right down the jack. Keep on going. You can go over this insulation tape, like so. And you connect it. Oh, it's like Picasso. Connect this little bit of this transistor to all of this ground stuff that's over here. Blub, blub, blub. Whew! Hey! That is your distortion circuit. See the resemblance? Tape it up. Ow.